Hello guys, it's Okakwa here and welcome to another video. Before we start with anything, I want to wish each and every one a happy new year. May this year bring you peace, joy and prosperity. Let's get to the video. So this is going to be a list of my favorite applications for 2020. These applications you should have is going to make your life easy, going to make using your phone really fun. All the links are going to be in the description. You can check them out if you find any of them cool. And also, if you're new to this channel, I highly recommend that you hit the subscribe button, turn on post notifications so you get notified the next time I upload a video. For app number one, this is the English Hero. Have you ever wanted to learn the English language without going through long and boring lectures? This is the app for you. You get to practice and listen to people speak just like the natives do. No textbooks needed, no classes that's going to bore you to hell, true stories, you get to follow and practice how to speak the English language in a fun and interactive way. It has a simple looking interface too, so this is very easy to operate. If you are into video editing on your mobile device, you should definitely check out the Allied Motion app. This is a pro motion graphic app for your smartphone, bringing to you professional quality animations, motion graphics, video editing, and composition. This app has a whole lot of features, including multi layers, color corrections, keyframes, and a whole other stuff. To unlock all the features, though, including taking off the watermark, you should buy this application to support the developers. If you ever use the phone with a notification LED, you know how cool that can be sometimes. The notify body works exactly like the notification LED. After granting access to this app, you're able to know which application left you a notification without necessarily having to pick up your phone. This application works perfectly well with OLED screens and AMOLED panels. Of course, you're able to customize the colors, position, and the whole other stuff. You should definitely check out the notify body. The next is Happy Weather. I tried out a couple of weather apps, but the Happy Weather seems to be my favorite so far. The interface looks really simple and clean. The app summarizes the weather in plain spoken language and very easy to understand. A lot of view modes including hours and days. So if you're looking for a simple looking weather app, you should definitely check out the Happy Weather. This is the MIUI. Now that smartphones are getting really huge, reaching the top sometimes can be a lot of trouble. With this application, you're able to reach your notification settings, turn on your Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and a couple of stuff just by swiping from the bottom of your device, the way I think it should be. So with this application, you're able to do that easily, smoothly, and very fast. All you need to do is to swipe from the bottom, and you can access all those settings without any trouble at all. It's also customizable. The next is the Firefox Screenshot Go. Imagine if you're able to find your screenshot by just searching for them, especially the ones that contain text. This application allows you to do that. You're also able to sort all your screenshots in categories, making it easy to find. The amazing part about this application is that you're also able to extract text from your screenshots. This is so cool. You're able to copy the text from it, paste it anywhere, edit it any way that you want. So you should definitely check out the Firefox Screenshot Go. Next is the Unlock Clock. If you want to know how many times you unlock your device in a day, this is the application to get. This acts like a live wallpaper in the background and refreshes every time you unlock your device. This is very simple and I kind of like it. If you're into those kind of stuff, you should definitely check out the Unlock Clock. The next few apps are some of my favorite wallpaper apps. This one is the Blob. This is a 3D live wallpaper app that works amazingly well, especially if you are using OLED screens and manageable on AMOLED screen too. Before getting this app, I didn't really like live wallpapers, but this app changed everything. This looks really good and I've been working it since. Then we have the Abstract Wallpaper 4K. This app is made by the award-winning OnePlus artist Hampus Olsen. I hope I didn't butcher his name. And with this wallpaper app, you're able to get access to exclusive 300 4K wallpapers. These wallpapers look really good and very well made. You should definitely check this application out too. Next, we have the unusual wallpapers. So I found this app a couple of weeks ago and this is a really cool app. 
if you are into the cartoon look for your setups you should definitely check this app out they have a lot of exclusive wallpapers that are very well made look really good and have this nice calming vibe to it so you should definitely check out the unusual wallpapers if you like cartoon vibes in your setups this leads me to two of my favorite icon packs the first is going to be the crayon icon pack this is a really cool icon pack the icons look really vibrant colorful and that's not all i like about this application the wonderful thing about this application is that it actually comes with its own set of wallpapers also complementing the cartoon vibe so the crayons icon pack is really cool and you should definitely check that one out too next we have the diligent icon pack this was my favorite icon pack in 2019 and i'm still working on it they have high quality icons look really creative and also they come with their own set of wallpapers which i find really cool so the diligent icon pack you should also check out moving on we have the google recorder this is a recording app that allows you to record and transcribe text live the amazing thing about this application is that it doesn't always require internet to work and it works really well i found myself using this a whole lot of times you should definitely check it out so this is the second test here let's see if this works properly Next on the list, we have Buffer. This is a really cool application that allows you to log into most of your social media platforms and schedule posts. So from this application, you're able to schedule a post and it goes to your Instagram, your Facebook, your Twitter, all at the same time. This is a really simple app that makes everything easy. Buffer is an application you should check out. Next, we have the history of everything. This is a really cool application that allows you to navigate and read through some histories and some past events, including the birth of the universe, the sun, life on earth, and other cool stuff. This app is for my fellow nerds. I tend to find myself using this app a lot when I'm bored, just to read about some things that I find interesting. For easy accessibility to apps on your phone whilst it has been unlocked, this is the application to get. So with Zone Launcher, you're able to access any application of your choice. Just by swiping from the right side, you can launch any application you selected. This makes it really easy. You don't always have to jump to your home screen to get into another application. Just by swiping from the right, you can launch any application of your choice. Next, we have the Quotes widget. This is a free, secure, at free and lightweight widget that has the best hand-picked codes to make your home screen look inspirational. Of course, this app works perfectly well whilst offline and updates regularly. But if you need to do it on your own, all you need to do is to tap it, then it will refresh. Next, we have on app. If you're like me and you get to try out a whole lot of applications each and every day, you know uninstalling them becomes a whole lot of trouble. So with this application, you have a simple way to select a whole lot of applications and with one tap, you get to uninstall all of them. This is a simple application and I've been using it a lot. So the last few applications will be my favorite launchers. The first one is the Niagara Launcher. This was actually my first launcher I ever used. So with this launcher, the apps have been arranged alphabetically. So swiping from the right side, you get to move to any applications that you want. On the main screen, you get to have your favorite applications placed there. These are just a few applications. And it was nice of them to add the ability to put in a widget. So this is just one widget on the home screen. The Niagara Launcher is a really cool launcher and I really like it. So for my last app, which is definitely not the least app, but this is my favorite launcher of all time, the Launcher Launcher. This launcher is so good. Like, I like the fact that you can customize almost everything from the theme, the desktop, the dock, the drawer, like everything can be customized. You can hide the status bar, you can, change the shapes of the icons you can do almost everything with this application and the fun fact about this is that 
it's free it's totally free to download so the launcher launcher is a very very good app and it's, a, it's the best launcher out there <laughs> i think this brings us to the end of the video if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you're new to this channel leave in the comment section what your favorite application was thank you for spending time with me and i'll see you in my next upload peace i'm out